we are ready to go. Hope everybody's doing awesome. A lot happening out there. Um, I'm sure some of you have been tracking, but today uh, Fed jumped another 75 basis points again. Um, honestly, which expectation was potentially a full point. So from that, continue to talk with your lenders. Um, even if you have anything in the works, you may want to go back there and um, track what uh, potentially that may do with your current loan if they'll stick to it, right? Um, there potentially will be some retrading. There's a lot of lenders out there who are staying in the sideline right now just for the fact that they don't want to retrade, meaning that they, with the unsettling out there, they're going to go out there and write it one way, and then the deal may blow up down the pipeline because of all the different changes there. Um, that said, there is still a ton of opportunity. Uh, a lot of you um, have been great helping on the Bransford project. We closed that last week. Uh, Chad, Alessandra, myself, uh, Dave Music, and a couple of the other people from the management team were actually at that property. And for, for you to know, um, 64 units here in Nashville, Tennessee, we closed last week. Um, we're at that property today just talking about the business plan. Um, that loan itself, we actually got retraded a day before closing, uh, which which was funny. But they they jumped our jumped our rate up from five two five to five two five three five, which was a a, a little um, fun. And they tried to have us bring two hundred thousand of interest reserves. Um, we actually settled on a hundred, uh, meaning that they want us to basically bring a hundred k to the table, and that hundred k is ultimately going to be paying interest for the first selective you know two three months before we actually go in there um so it's a simple way for them to have certainty uh if you have done any kind of bridge loan or other in the fact it's um it's a similar course where, where you may be bringing the interest payments to the table uh and may not have interest payments for those parts so bransford instead of paying interest we have an interest only loan for the first 12 months uh we now have two we'll say two and change to almost three months uh, where we've now paid that forward at closing, which is basically semantics. And so now for these operations, we have these two, three months where we won't be paying um, debt service. So we'll have these uh, 12 months before we go into an amortizing loan. Um, really excited about the project. We have three vacancies right now. We're, we're turning property looks great. Uh, great tenant base, a lot of anticipation of what we're going to do there. Went over renovations. We went over a lot of the CapEx items we want to do there. A lot targeted at making use with um, just the limited amenities to really go in there and spruce it up. We're going to add in um, pergola. We're going to add in a growing station. We're going to add in a fire pit. We're going to add in new pool funeral furniture. There's a beautiful large room under the one uh, building that has a basement that we are going to now take and turn into the office maintenance. It's also going to have a little coffee area, package area. Some people, like Julie and team, have been doing a great job working on that. Um, so that's going to be that area. And we have an opportunity to really capitalize on the storage room back there for additional uh, paid storage. That said, um, the even more exciting news is we're going to pick up. So we have 64 units, one being the office. We are now going to revamp that office back to a unit and with reshaping, with being able to reshape the, we'll say, logistics of that one building, we're actually going to pick up a unit. So now we're going to go to 65 units, which is just phenomenal, right? I actually didn't, didn't underwrite that, didn't think you could get it, but now we're going to actually pick up going from the 64 where one was down to now 65 units and a full office and the mini center. Uh, it's going to be a really nice play for the property. So we're excited on that. And today, we want to look at some of the third-party reports uh, for those who have not um, gone the full route of closing on a property. We'll take a look at these, um, dive in, go through uh, settlement statement and others, and then on the count, uh, go and see if there is any market questions. For the big sense of it, we will see continued uncertainty. Uh, there is going to be continued opportunity, but for those that have not capitalized well, those who have not had reserves out there, uh, those who have a very short-term horizon on their project, it may be they may be in a, in a position where they have to sell and have to be more realistic on their price points. Have we seen that change yet? 
Not so much. Uh, I, I put up an article yesterday where garden style apartments actually continue to, to compress on cap rates. Uh, we have seen mid and high rise apartment buildings start to trend up. Um, but you know, we're, we're still early in the phase of where things go. And as reports come out, as things come out, um, with the course of inflation numbers, CPI numbers, and others, we'll see how much that continues to change. What do you think the Fed rate will do with the SOFR? 75% increase as well. Um, you know, SOFR, we'll have to see where it goes. Um, honestly, we just have to keep our head on the swivel and just keep talking with our lenders to see how they adapt. Not everybody is going off SOFR, you know, and so you have to see where the banks lie. Um, Funny enough, if we were to reprice the loan, Bransford would reclose at a 535 rate, just say, you know, four or five weeks later, you know, I'm surprised like most banks are going to be over six, right? So that that they only retraded us just up to 535, um, which is really, you know, 10 basis point or 10 basis point delta on where we underwrote it um, is, of course, annoying because they had plenty of time to do this. However, it wasn't a, a giant change compared to where where they could have gone if they really wanted to press us. So that said, you know, we, we had a good run out of the gate, very strong management's on board, uh, doing lease audit, doing all the exposure, getting units turned, getting all contractors on board. We had flooring contractors there today. We, we had a couple other contractors out there sizing up um, some of the other mini plays. So there, there's a lot happening and the property looks good. And for, Anyone who's not seen this property, we're right next door to a brand new new construction building that's um, in a lease up phase. It's got uh, at least for one of the phases and has maybe 300 units, I believe, in there. And they are going to be a substantial step up in pricing from where our property is. So we are going to be able to go and trend very well off them to be the affordable, great option next to them. Uh, so we're, we're very excited about that and uh, really looking forward to see how that market can play into our advantage.